Hi, my name is Mark Potter and I'm here to audition for the next Food Network star. Today, I'm going to make for you a salmon with asparagus and broccoli and a white wine sauce. First thing we're going to make our, 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 our spice rub for our uh, salmon. A little information about you, I'm 48 years old. I've been married for 27 years to my wonderful wife Brenda. And uh, last year I got laid off from my job. So I decided to go back to school and fulfill my uh, lifelong passion for cooking. Today we just have a little bit of paprika, a little bit of uh, ginger, and a little bit of chili powder in our spice rub. Then we have our fresh caught Atlantic salmon with the skin on. We want to have that skin because there's a wonderful layer of fat in between the skin and the Earlier I removed all the pin bones out of here that are very important to remove that. And you have about a four ounce portion per person. Just slice that up nice and even. And get your olive oil in your pan here. You want to get that nice and almost smoking hot. That way you can sear that skin and it, get, it releases those uh, oils in the fish for a wonderful uh, flavor to it. In the meantime, we can start our other pan over here with uh, a little bit more olive oil and a little bit of butter. This is going to be for our vegetables we're going to saute in just a moment or two here. Get that olive oil nice and hot. You take your, your uh, spice rope and you are very generous with this spice rub. Don't be skippy on it. You need to have a good amount of rub on it. You rub it all over your fish and you tap it in or pat it in really firm. Now you got that nice and coated, real nice and covered. And you got the oil nice and hot. You take your fish skin side down and lay it in there. We also have our oven preheated to 375. Because this fish, once we get it in this pan and sear it some, we're going to put it in our oven to finish it off. There we go. Let that sear for a minute or two. Make sure it isn't sticking too badly. And this is a cast iron pan I'm using. Wonderful cook for cooking in. Now that's getting nice and seared off, you can take that and put that right in our oven. 375 for about 10 to 12 minutes. Uh, depends on the thickness of your fish and your oven. So we got that going. You can clear this pan out of the way here. And we can get to go. Actually, the very first time I made this dish was for uh, family and friends of ours. It came over. And they, they suggested at the time I started cooking professionally for a living. That was a number of years ago. Uh, on the application process, it asked us to give our culinary point of view. My culinary point of view would be to keep it simple. Uh, I don't want to, I don't see why food should have to be complicated to be good, to be interesting, to be flavorful. All right. All right, our fish is done. Pull that out of the pan. Beautiful color on that salmon. Just look at that. Beautiful fish. It tastes so wonderful. And that spice rub right into it. It's baked right into that fish. And give it a wonderful accent of flavor to complement it. Just on that nice crispy seared skin. All right, so we'll take this over here. We'll get that fire back on. Then we add about a cup or a cup and a half of white wine. Now be careful when you do this, especially if you have an open flame like this stove does, because sometimes the alcohol, depending on what, what you're using, will flare up. So you always want to be careful about doing that. What you want to do about this is just kind of mix this around and get the little particles that are stuck to the bottom of the pan from the process of cooking. 
and mix them all up. And once that reduces just a little bit, you want to add about a tablespoon or two of butter. The butter is going to give it a nice body, as they say. Nice creaminess, I guess you would call it, to the sauce. While well, that's reducing now, we'll come over here and we'll plate up a piece of this beautiful fish. Oh, look at that. Nice and hot. We'll get some of our vegetables over here. And that nice, fresh asparagus and broccoli. Not overcooked, still crisp to the taste. over here and we'll get our sauce finished. Want to let this reduce down a little bit so it isn't too 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 much liquid. And then come over here and pour a little bit of that sauce over that fish. Like I said, we don't need to bury the fish in the sauce because it has such a wonderful flavor as it is. And now, get to garnish that with a little bit of parsley. And now, favorite part. I get to taste this wonderful, that's the Atlantic salmon. That nice char on to it. Get a little bit of the uh, broccoli on there if it'll cooperate. Oh, the flavors of the, the uh, spice rub and the olive oil being seared in a pan like that, it has come through wonderfully. Thank you. My name is Mark Potter. I can't wait to see you on the next Food Networks.